first down. So that will be a 16-yard run and then a personal foul tacked on as Max Johnson last season at LSU. Now, take over at Texas A&M. Very well. And Haynes King missed too many receivers a week ago. There's some talent outside, although... Fixing the core, changing the quarterback position isn't going to fix Texas A&M on offense. They need to be better on the offensive line. The running backs need to be better in pass protection. The receivers need to be better creating separation. We'll see if Max Johnson gives them a spark. Now Andy Maddox gets a chance to take a snap at quarterback. Hands one to C.J. Stokes. Stokes turn back at the 10-yard line. There is still a segment of our viewership that's very closely dialed in to what may or may not happen on this drive. We'll be tuned in every mission you drive from here on. Well, it's very important. Davis Warren gets a chance to rotate back in. Now it is just the quarterback carousel yes, it is. being employed by Jim Harbaugh, a different quarterback. It seems every snap. It's an all-out blitz coming from UConn. There's a slant thrown low and complete. Try to squeeze one into Cornelius Johnson. I thought Davis Warren cut that loose a little quick. It was the old double slants on the outside. You get the inside receiver running a corner round to the back pylon. I thought he might have had that if he waited just a second. A little bit of pressure in his face as well. But Jim Harbaugh made a point to tell us that Davis Warren's got a pretty good arm. Especially for a guy who walked on. Timeout called defensively by UConn. Charge timeout. 